Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be fixing the paint on the wheels and also touching up some of the paint on the body. Uh, I got a trip coming up and I just want it to look a little better. I do have some new wheels in the works. I'm working with a company right now to try to get some new wheels. So I'm not gonna do a terrific job of painting these. So I'm just gonna do a little scuff and shoot real quick. It's probably gonna rain. But uh, I'm going to bring you along on the journey and uh, just show you how you can make your wheels look a little better for, uh, you know, probably five bucks and 10, 20 minutes of your time. So as you can see, uh, they were white wheels just painted black and that black is peeling away. I'm also going to touch up the cage here. Just going to shove a little, you know, cardboard box behind it, spray it black and uh, they're gonna look better. I was gonna touch up the green, but I can't seem to find this color green anymore, anywhere. So I am gonna be super lazy and not even take the wheels off. I'm just gonna tape up a few things, show you a little trick so you don't get some paint on your tires, and uh, we'll get this sprayed up and looking good. So for the wheels, I'm gonna be using this hammered black all-in-one paint and primer. Uh, the reason I'm using this is just because I had a full can of it and I'm hoping that'll cover all four wheels. If not, um, yeah, we're going to have some mismatched wheels, but uh, you only see one side at a time. A good friend told me that once. And for touching up the cage, I'm just going to use this color place black from Walmart. Again, uh, you know, it's only a dollar and I had it. I've had really bad luck with this stuff. It tends to be a mess. But it's a rock crawler, and it's uh, gonna get scratched off on the next trip anyway. But uh, we might as well make it look good. So let's uh, get these wheels done first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this gray Scotch Bright and uh, scuff up the wheel, kind of clean it up. I'm uh, not gonna do a super great job at it, just because again I'm gonna get new wheels, and I mean we can just touch these up whenever. So I'm just going to scuff it up and it will look pretty good. For the rear wheel here, this is about as good as I'm going to get it, or I'm going to do it anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some tape tape off these lug nuts just so they don't get all gunked up with paint and I guess you could paint over them if you really wanted to but I'm gonna choose not to do that I'm also gonna just throw some tape on the valve stem I don't want to gunk it up that's all the tape I'm not gonna worry about like the center hub here or the the drum brake is if you know it doesn't hurt to have some paint on it so next use some index cards to kind of mask off the tire so you're you're not going to get tape to stick to that really these index cards kind of suck too i have a different trick though another trick that i learned is if you got a bunch of old business cards laying around they hold up much better. Now, if you don't have a bunch of business cards or metal cards or whatever, I actually do wheel repair for a living and I have nice metal cards that I use, but I'm not gonna use that stuff on this. This, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna use professional grade equipment on this vehicle. And by the way, this is not how I would professionally repair a wheel. I, Put a lot more work and we do a lot better job at that but this is just a rock crawler and so this is how we're gonna do it now i'm just gonna go in here and spray some paint on it this uh paint kind of sucks already in the wind oh yeah this is gonna be great not to speak it's cold too so I just sprayed one super heavy coat on it because I don't care 
I'm, uh, I kind of assume now that that hammered paint is just supposed to spray like crap and give it that textured look. I don't know, I've never used that stuff before. But it was, uh, it sprays really awfully. But we'll let that dry and see what it looks like when we untape it. I might throw a little more on there, but let's work on the front now. All right, so the only difference with the front here is I'm gonna tape this, this off just a little bit, this slug, or most people will just have a hub. I'm gonna just throw a little tape on it. I'm not looking for anything fancy. I'm gonna be changing all these parts out anyway. A lot of you are probably thinking, why do you even care? Well, I have a weird OCD where I like things to look normal. Like one color in this case, not black and white. The only other thing I'm gonna do differently uh, for the front versus the rear, I'm gonna take some of this just old paper and put it in kind of on the brake just so I don't get a bunch of paint on the brake. Other than that, that's the only thing differently I'm gonna do if I can get it to fit. I'm gonna try something else. not really working. All right, so again, I'm just gonna use these old business cards as kind of a protectant so I don't get paint on the tires. And then we'll be ready to spray it. I think that can of paint is just defective. I just have bad luck. It's kind of shooting off that way. You can't see that. It's shooting off that way and that way and that way and just streams. So I just sent it anyway because, like I said, I already had to paint. Look at that dirt falling into it. We'll, uh, we'll cover that up. Yeah, that's the first coat. I am going to do one more coat on it. This thing will be uh, good to go. Now it's starting to get windy and probably going to rain, but whatever. So of course, you know, it starts getting windy as soon as you're doing anything with paint. So that's great. But now all I'm gonna do is take this cardboard box, slide it in there, and just go around and touch the cage up with this gloss black Walmart paint. probably gonna criticize me because I didn't clean up any of that I just went ahead and sprayed it looks pretty good sprayed over the dirt it'll be fine as soon as it rubs off you know I'll spray it again but now it's starting to rain in hail of course I thought I was gonna have a break in the weather but that's not happening all the birds are going insane too I don't know if you can see that the dogs are going insane too I don't know, maybe there's a storm coming. Yeah, I got one side done, one side of the wheels, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final product. I'm not gonna make you guys suffer and watch me do the other side. So, this side's done. You seen how it was done? My hat's all messed up. So, yeah, let's reveal it. So there you have it. It's all painted up. Oh, the dog's got me stuck. Got it uh, painted up and looking pretty freaking good, I think. Better than what it was. Wheels are one color. Some of the rust spots are gone. I'm happy with it. It's uh, ready to get uh, beat up and the paint worn off again. Um, again, I didn't spend a whole bunch of time on it, mainly because I'm gonna have some new wheels coming. Hopefully some new tires. 
and a new body in the near future. So yeah, we'll just uh, touch it up with some cheap paint, make it look kind of fresh again, just to beat her up. So you've seen one side get finished. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go do the other side. Obviously I'm not gonna put that on camera because it's gonna look pretty much identical. Well, I hope things could go wrong. Probably will run out of paint, but who cares? So uh, thanks for watching this video. If uh, you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We post a video every Thursday and every Sunday of every week. We're gonna be working on Clyde 2.0 here and doing the body swap. And please consider liking this video as well and go and follow us on Instagram at Track Kickoff Road. Have a good one.